welcome back to the channel. Today I'm excited to show you how to make your own delicious mead in just 10 minutes. Using simple ingredients, no fancy equipment needed. Whether you're a complete beginner or an experienced mead maker, this easy to follow tutorial breaks down the process of creating this ancient fermented beverage, allowing you to enjoy your homemade mead in no time. But before we dive in, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more exciting mead making tips and techniques. And as a little thank you for joining me today, grab my free ebook, Mead Making at Home Easily, with the link in the description or the pinned comment. Now let's get started. <laughs> Did you know that mead is one of the oldest alcoholic beverages in the world? dating back thousands of years. Today, I'm going to show you how to make this ancient drink right in your own kitchen using my suite of AI-powered tools, including the Mead Process Designer tool. These tools, powered by ChatGPT AI, provide clear instructions and interactive responses tailored to your specific mead-making needs. My AI tools ensure that every step is precise and straightforward making the process simple and efficient. Using the right tools and techniques is crucial in mead making. Without them, you could face issues like stall fermentations or unbalanced flavors resulting in a disappointing batch. Here's how my suite of AI tools can supercharge your mead making. My yeast selector tool helps you choose the perfect yeast based on your honey type, fermentation conditions, and desired characteristics. My pH adjustment tool reduces acidity levels during fermentation, ensuring optimal conditions for yeast health and flavor balance. My four-stage nutrient addition tool simplifies nutrient management and enhances fermentation efficiency. And of course, my mead process designer tool provides step-by-step -step guidance, interactive responses, and tailored advice throughout your entire mead making journey. My mead acid adjuster calculator tool balances acidity after fermentation ensuring a stable and delicious final product. You can find the links to these tools in the description or pinned comment below. Getting started, essential ingredients and equipment to make mead that you'll need. A one gallon of high quality pH water, preferably about 8.0 to 9.5. Two to three pounds of your favorite honey, and I usually use a ratio of one part water to three parts honey. Two and a half grams of yeast. Sanitizer for cleaning your equipment. Be sure not to use Clorox or bleach. Get a good sanitizer. You also need a few basic pieces of equipment. A fermenter, could be a glass carboy or food grade plastic bucket. A hydrometer to measure your specific gravity. An airlock and a bung. An auto siphon with tubing for transferring the mead. A scale for measuring your honey. To choose the right yeast, start by using my mead selector tool. It provides recommendations based on your specific honey type, fermentation conditions, and desired mead characteristics, ensuring the best flavor and optimal fermentation. Here's my step-by-step -step bean making process. First things first, sanitize all your equipment thoroughly. This step is crucial to prevent any unwanted bacteria from spoiling your mead. You can use the mead process designer tool to guide you through proper sanitation procedures and ensure everything is squeaky clean. The next step is optional honey pasteurization. I personally don't pasteurize my honey but many people do. This reduces the risk of wild yeast and bacteria. You have the option to pasteurize your honey before fermentation simply by heating the honey to around 140 degrees Fahrenheit, 60 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes. Next is mixing the ingredients. Start by filling part of the fermenter with water, then add the honey. Use a scale to measure the honey accurately if needed. Stir or shake the mixture well to oxygenate it using either an oxygen stone or a wine aerating whip attached to your drill. Next step is to take a gravity reading. Use your hydrometer to take the initial gravity reading. This measurement is essential for monitoring the fermentation process and determining the alcohol content later on. After everything is mixed and put into your fermenter, you can add the yeast nutrients. Proper nutrient addition is the key to a healthy fermentation. Use my four-stage yeast nutrient addition tool to add nutrients in a staggered schedule over several days. My tool simplifies nutrient management, helping the yeast ferment effectively, leading to a cleaner and final product. The next step is really just tracking your progress. Keep track of the mead's progress by recording all data, including the start date and the gravity readings. You can do this on a piece of paper or on your computer notebook, or on the fermenter itself. Keep an eye on the pH levels. Adjust the pH levels if necessary. Maintaining the right pH level during fermentation is crucial. 
use my pH adjustment tool to monitor and adjust the acidity levels in real time, ensuring optimal conditions for yeast health and flavor development. If you find that your yeast is stalling, it's probably a pH issue and the, there's too much acidity. My pH tool will give you the correct measurements of potassium bicarbonate or calcium carbonate to put in to raise the alkalinity so that the yeast are happy again. Once fermentation is complete, it's time to stabilize and back sweeten your mead if desired. The mead process tool provides detailed instruction on different stabilization methods, such as potassium sorbate, potassium metasulfite, or cold crashing to temporarily halt fermentation. Also, after fermentation, use my mead acid adjuster calculator tool to balance the acidity of your mead. This tool makes adjusting acidity simple, enhancing both the taste and the stability of your final product. The final step is to bottle or keg your mead. If you're bottling, ensure all bottles or kegs are sanitized. I prefer kegging, but whether you choose to bottle or keg, my mead process designer tool will walk you through each step. Remember to label your bottles and keep track of what's inside. After transferring to the keg or bottles, it's time to age your mead. Aging a mead can enhance its flavors and improve clarity. You might want to consider clearing agents like sparkaloid or bentonite to help clarify the mead. Aging also helps develop character, making it taste even better over time. I often age my meads in barrels to add depth and complexity to the flavor. So if you're ready to start making mead with precision and ease, click the link in the description to get started with my suite of AI tools to enhance your mead making experience. It also will make it so much easier for you. If you enjoyed this video or learned something from it, please hit the like button and subscribe for more mead making tips. And remember, you can grab my free ebook, Mead Making at Home Easily, using the link in the description or the pinned comment below. And if you're interested in more mead making tips, check out my other mead making videos over here. Cheers to your new mead making adventure and happy mead making.